This video is about Startling Stories, a science fiction pulp magazine published by Ned Pine's Standard Magazine. To show what Startling Stories was all about, after this initial image, a chronological series of painted covers from 1939 to 1955 are presented. As the covers go by, lots of fascinating information is provided, but is not intended to correspond with the specific cover being shown. Although science fiction had been published before the 1920s, it did not begin to become a separately marketed genre until the appearance in 1926 of Amazing Stories, a pulp magazine published by Hugo Gernsback. Standard Magazines, a pulp publishing company owned by Ned Pines, acquired its first science fiction magazine Thrilling Wonder Stories from Gernsback in 1936. By the end of the 1930s, the science fiction field was undergoing its first boom. Mort Weisinger, the editor of Thrilling Wonder, printed an editorial in February 1938 asking readers for suggestions for a companion magazine. Response was positive, and the new magazine, titled Startling Stories was launched with a first issue dated January 1939. It was launched as pulp-sized, about the same size as a comic book, instead of the larger bed sheet size requested by many readers. Initial pay rates were half a cent per word, lower than the leading magazines of the day. Startling ran a lead novel in every issue. The first was The Black Flame by Stanley G. Weinbaum. When Standard Magazines acquired Thrilling Wonder in 1936, it also gained the rights to stories published in that magazine's predecessor, Wonder Stories, and selections from this early material were reprinted in Startling as Hall of Fame Stories. Startling was popular and soon became one of the core science fiction magazines, according to science fiction historian Mike Ashley. The target audience was younger readers, and the lead novels were often space operas by well-known pulp writers, such as Edmund Hamilton and Manly Wade Wellman. In addition to space opera, some more fantastical fiction began to appear and contributed by writers such as Henry Kuttner. These early science fantasy stories were popular with readers and contrasted with the hard science fiction that John W. Campbell was pioneering at Astounding. The initial cover art was mostly painted by Howard Brown, but when Earl K. Berge began to paint covers for Startling in 1940, soon after its launch, Berge quickly became identified with the magazine and painted the majority of Startling's covers between 1940 and 1952, the year of Berge's death. He was known for equipping his heroines with brass bras and implausible costumes, and the public image of science fiction in his day was partly created by his work for Startling and other magazines. Berge's covers were visually striking. In the words of science fiction editor and critic Malcolm Edwards, they typically featured a rugged hero, a desperate heroine, and a hideous alien menace. The first editor was Mort Weisinger, who had been an active fan in the early 1930s and had joined Standard Magazines in 1935, editing the Thrilling Wonder from 1936. Weisinger left in 1941 to take a new post as editor of Superman and was replaced by Oscar J. Friend, who was an established writer of pulp fiction, although his experience was in Western fiction rather than science fiction. During Friend's tenure, Startling slipped from bi-monthly to quarterly publication. 
Friend lasted for a little over two years and was replaced by Sam Merwin, Jr., as of the winter 1945 issue. Merwin succeeded in making Startling popular and successful, and the bimonthly schedule was resumed in 1947. Merwin was able to improve the quality of the fiction substantially, publishing Arthur C. Clarke's Against the Fall of Night and several other well-received stories. At the start of 1952, Startling switched to a monthly schedule. Merwin left shortly before this switch in order to spend more time on his own writing. He was replaced by Samuel Mines, who had worked with Standard's Western magazines, although he was a science fiction fan. When Merwin left in 1951 and Samuel Mines took over, the standard remained fairly high, but competition from new and better paying markets such as Galaxy Science Fiction and the magazine of fantasy and science fiction impaired Mines' ability to acquire quality material. In mid-1952, Standard attempted to change Startling's image by adopting a more sober typeface and reducing the sensationalism of the covers. But by 1955, the pulp magazine market was collapsing. Startling absorbed its two companion magazines, Thrilling Wonder and Fantastic Story magazine, in early 1955. But by the end of that year, it too ceased publication. Would you like to see a movie based on any of the covers in this video? If so, is there an actress or actresses that you want involved? More videos like this one, short and longer, can be viewed at the Comic Excitement Convention Science Fiction Playlist. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notifications bell.